What's going on YouTube? A-Train here with AOK -OK Studios bringing out another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove your light from your photos in Photoshop. Now, there are some important things to remember when you're doing this. If you do not do these things, then this is not going to work right. Trust me, I've done this before the wrong way and I got in Photoshop and I was like, this ain't looking how it's supposed to look. <laughs> the first thing you're going to have to do is make sure that you're shooting two photos. You're going to your first photo, you're going to have the light in the photo in the frame. Your second shot, you're gonna have the person in the light outside of the frame. The reason that I shoot with the light inside of the frame is because when you're shooting off camera flash and you're shooting a wide shot, you want your light close to your subject as possible to create a better flattering light and it just looks better. And the more you pull your light away from your subject, the less power you're gonna lose and it's probably not gonna look exactly how you want it to look. Another important thing to remember, this is very important, make sure that you shoot on a tripod. You have to shoot on a tripod for this to work. Now, there's different ways that you could do this, but I'm just showing y'all the way that I do it. So just know there's other ways that you can try this method. All right, y'all, so we're over in Lightroom. Now you can do this, you could upload these photos straight into Photoshop, but I like to start off in Lightroom and then pit my photos in Photoshop. So that's just how I wanna do it. So. First off, you want to edit your photos. I have a custom preset that I put on both of my shots. This is my shot with the light. And this is my second shot without the light. So what you want to do is make sure that both of these shots, um, as far as settings and editing looks exactly the same or it's not going to look right. So what you can do is from your first shot, copy your settings. So you go to copy right here and it's going to copy all the settings that you use to edit that photo. So you're going to copy it. Then you're gonna to go to your second shot without the light and you're just gonna paste it. Now I've already done it, but that's how you get your photos to look exactly the same. This is very important, so make sure you do this step. So now what you wanna do is take your second frame without the light, you wanna take it over in Photoshop. So you just click on the photo, go to edit, edit in Adobe Photoshop. It'll take it over to Photoshop. All right. So then what you wanna do is go back to Lightroom and you want to take your photo with the light and you want to take that over to Photoshop also. All right. All right, so now you want to select this photo and drag it on top of the photo without the light. So we're going to move it over and place it on top of this photo. You want to make sure it's lined up. So you see it has the uh, two lines, means meaning it's perfectly lined up and you want to put that on top, right? So what I'm going to do next is you're going to go to the eraser tool, use the bracket on windows. You can make your circle bigger or smaller. And all you're going to do is erase the light from the photo. So you're just going to go over it and erase out your light stand or your person or your tripod, whatever you're using. Now, sometimes after you erase your light stand, your tripod or whatever, you will see that it's certain parts that may need a little cleaning up. So what you can do is you can use your patch tool, go over to your patch tool. Um, this one doesn't really have any areas, but you can just kind of clean up certain areas to make it look how you want. And you could also use the, you could go to your clone stamp tool to kind of clean up areas. This is something very simple, but like I said, it could be intimidating when you're first getting into it, but it's a good tool to have, you know, in your toolbox as a photographer, because uh, especially if you shoot off camera flash and you want to get into wide shots. See, when I first started, I just used to shoot, you know, more up close portraits, but then I was like, you know, I want to start shooting wider shots. How do I incorporate the flash into my wider shot? So what you do is you keep, like I said, you keep the light in the frame, then you take a second shot with your light outside of your frame and you can fix it in post-production. I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Be sure to give it a like if you learned something from it. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.